YouTube, so this will be my tour of my Minecraft house. Uh, I worked uh, for approximately one year on this house. It is rather large, so please show your support and your opinion of this house. So pretty much this house consists of several room sections. Uh, there is a little bit of redstone involved in it. This is pretty much the main entrance, followed by a lot of flowers and you will soon be introduced by the main lobby. So, the main lobby is over here. This is the main lobby introduction. Over here you have some maps over by the side, and on multiplayer servers you have reminders for everyone on the server. You have a little trap here, I'll show this later. This pretty much takes you to an underground passageway. We go up the stairs over here, I will show you guys this room over here. This is pretty much just a general meeting room with a bunch of bookshelves, not the best visual appeal room. And this is one of the many bedrooms for any faction members. This is one of the nicer ones. This is just a storage room for that bedroom. Special. So continuing on over here, you have a view of the lobby. Uh, over here. This is another room. This is just an enchantment room that people can use. And over here, go by here. This is just a general furnace room where you can uh, smelt a bunch of objects. And this is just another storage room. This is preferably used for a lot of uh, coal or anything else you really want to place. Over here, we have just a general room some milk blocks, a furnace, and some extra chests. Uh, over here, coming in over here. Um, here is just a general trading room. So with the trading room, you pretty much just take an object, and it slides over to the other person, so the other person can pick it up. It's a very nice feature, and I use it a lot, especially on my player servers. Here is just a little basin where it gets you caught on fire. Again, you can punish yourself. Uh, continuing on uh, with this tool, one second, I sent that a button. I just recently added these after surviving mode because I sometimes periodically die due to zombies breaking through the doors. Uh, this is an elevator that goes downstairs. Uh, here's a little view of the town I'm working on in the backyard. Just some horses and other just the first floor to the last one. This is another storage room. Uh, along with some furnaces, there's a brewing station, there's anvils, there's cauldron, there's an ember chest. Pretty much anything you'd ever want. Over here. Continuing on, we move along here. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, it's pretty big. You get lost easily. This is just a room where you have a bunch of different objects. Diamonds, etc. Nothing really special. Over here, it's my testing facility, followed by bedrock. In here, you pretty much just blow anything up that you want. There's a little station here, you just spawn mobs in here. Just anything. Uh, testing out some redstone, maybe cannons, TNT cannons. Anything of that sort. Uh, continuing on over here. Uh, this room we just have a skin and a couple of chicken chickens. Skate along here. Just gonna drop my button over here. Or even more buttons. Over here I have my wolves and horses. This I have a the dog over there. Over here, this is the place we want to walk in. So you have lots of villagers, you can take up the villagers. And we have a bunch of pigs and cows, a bunch of animals. Uh, over here, we have another bedroom, in case there's any visitor. We could stay around here, there's a nice cozy fireplace. There's some bookshelves, couches, etc. Uh, coming in over here, we just have a general 
chest, there wasn't really anything I could do over there. Same thing. I would consider just expanding this into a larger hallway. It would be more efficient. Over here, this is my personal room. Just some couches, some beds I just sleep in. There were skulls, some chests, and some objects inside. I'm trying to armor, compasses, etc. Uh, over here is a little farm I have. So I need to go to cultivate food in here. It's close to my room, so it's very nice and easily accessible. Here are just some chests, some like, additional cauldrons, food and stands, whatever else I'd also need. And once again, I forgot to add buttons here. So, Uh, coming in over here, this is just a ladder that communicates with all the floors. Then I'll leave the first floor to the end. This is pretty much just a PvP floor. Here I have a little PvP arena made by myself. And in here, people on the server will just play around and fight. Over here, we just have another PvP arena. This one's a little bit smaller. But similarly, there's a bunch of random objects in here, and it's just fucking Over here, we have uh, another entrance, some exit. Over here, we have another little storage area at the top. This floor has very high ceilings, so yeah, we also have an observation desk here. And in the future, at the beginning we have I will also add an observation there, so you can see clearly what's there. Over here, it's just kind of like a general faction group where people would sleep and they each have their own chest. And down here, you see the lobby along with a nice view. Alright, coming in back over here. This is the second floor again, this is just a Here's just a spawning area. If you click here, all the mobs will spawn in here. You have zombies, zombie pigmen. This will just pretty much crash the server to load up this house. Uh, coming in back over here, this area. We have another floor over here, and then this floor. It's not much of a floor, but it's pretty much an observation desk where you can shoot down other. So now let's continue on on the floor. Over here, again on the second floor, we have another trading desk where you can shoot the button and it goes down. And the person on the floor will come here. Uh, let's go back up the stairs. I'll use the previous thing to go on to the third floor. And this is the last floor. On the last floor, we have a little garden along with the beacon. These are some fireworks. These fireworks in here. We have a TNT rocket, as you guys can know from my channel. This will shoot you up in the sky. Uh, this is all like picnic area along with like three houses. Come up here, stay up here, and just hang out. I suppose. Over by here, this is a new addition, so you guys probably haven't seen this, but over here is just a general meeting room with a big fountain, and down there you have a little world by itself, uh, some mobs, a house inside there with villagers, and up here is another observation deck. It's rather large, yeah. and this is pretty much a duplicate on the other side. Over here again, similar concept. Here, down here, you have the room, and you have more mobs down here. Slightly different layout from trees, etc. Uh, coming in a back over onto this side. Over here, 
we have an elevator that I was working on. We should not go down here, but if we come over here, enter, we jump down here, we fall down, here, and we come back inside the building. On the first floor. The elevator is over here. We click this. I'll push it all the way up. I'm still working on fixing the elevator because some portions of it do not function quite as well as I planned it to. Okay. Uh, I also have another elevator that is a lot better over here. I step in. Pick you up. You guys have already seen this elevator, so I will not it. Over here is just an entrance to my future town. Uh, so far I built a stable and I'm still working on the roads. You guys probably saw me working on the roads in other videos. Uh, over here, this is just an obsidian bonus facility. You could also pretty much live in here. You can put chests in here, you can pretty much do anything you want. Blow stuff up. Uh, over here we have a recycling center that pretty much sends it to the void and you can just dump anything you want in there. So I'm just gonna probably throw out some buttons and it goes all the way down. You might not want to jump over there because you don't want to jump down. Okay, uh, coming in over here, you have just a meeting room. Uh, these chairs are adjustable over here. Now you take away from some of the tables. You could pretty much remove the whole row of tables just by moving around these levers. It's a very flexible system, and you can adjust it however you want. I'll come back over here now. This is just a very bad swimming pool. It's like a diving board. Jump, fall down, and over here we have a secret exit to move them on. Uh, this is just another PvP zone, there's nothing really special in here. Uh, this is just the room to the house that I built inside my house. It's like a house inside a house. And then I'll work on a house inside here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, we have a little lake there. Let's come back over here. Open this door. Uh, over here we just have a like, storage area. Over here we have the lava and furnaces, similar to the one downstairs. Uh, it's just a little bedroom over here for someone to live in if they really want to. Uh, over here we have another bedroom, again, chests, a bed, nothing really special. Uh, continuing on over here, here we have another storage center. Uh, this leads to the other house over here. This one has a lot more mobs. It's a lot more crowded over here. I still have that much room to build my houses. This is a very large storage center, and downstairs here we have an emergency vault area all by obsidian, which is the place where you can run away. Uh, okay. So this pretty much wraps up. Half of my first floor. Over here we have a library. This is a place where you can just hang around with books, read books, not that many nights. Uh, chests over here. Yeah. And this sends you back to the Uh, this gives you direct access to the novel. Coming in over to the other side, we have another library. Here. Except this one is a little bit smaller, but again, this is towards the front of the building. So yes, that is a very convenient access. Uh, continuing on over here, we have a kitchen. So this kitchen is right beside the other, and over here again. Stuff, but now there's water. 
done. There's some chests, a little eating area. Yeah. There's this many too, there's this room that I have. And again, if you guys saw the other videos, this is lava and water. Alright, now I have to go downstairs. Now I do not know downstairs very really well. But here is the basic downstairs. It is composed of several mines like this with a lot of different precious blocks. This is the stairway from the swimming pool that I showed you guys before. Uh, these are the different redstone parts to it. Uh, this is what I showed in other videos that are published on Generator. Over here, we generate the cobblestone. And there it is. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Until the piston can no longer be uh, Over here, I have some other uh, unlimited water generator. And here, there's just basically a maze of different. Wounds and assortments and stuff. Ah, uh, it's just a jail for some people to live in. For people. Uh, pig over here. Uh, this is for the front lights of the house. So at the front of the house, there's some redstone lights. You can make them make like a signal and go by the front here. There used to be some lights over here. Some redstone lights. Oh, there they are. So yeah, I'll show you guys the points over here and now the flash. So that's what the redstone does. Over here there's quite a bit of redstone and it's a long signal. So let's just turn this off. Oh uh, there's also horses over there as you saw on the right hand side. And over here there's an additional exit over by one of the two villages nearby. This one sends it to a house under construction over here. This is a house, a small house I'm working on, nearby to one of the villages. So this is pretty much a wrap up of my house tour. There's a couple more things I have to show you guys. So over here, this is a small little room. Here is a little area where you can store some lava or water if you have it. There is some extra stuff for our survival server in case the ammo here. Expenses and ammo. Over here we have another cobblestone generator. Similar to the other one. Over here is the piston and some more storage. This is right behind the um, PvP arena on the third floor of my house. And again, this is another storage area. You hide up here. Stay there. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up my tour of the house. Uh, I hope you guys like this house. If you guys liked it, please give a thumbs up to this video. And hopefully other people will enjoy it as well. I put a lot of time and effort into making this house, so I hope you guys enjoy the house. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have had fun.